Well, this next video is about these college students. Now, um, you know, one guy was about to graduate, get with a master's degree in um, Homeland Security. Two weeks from graduation or a week from graduation, two days, some stupid fucking number. He gets caught up in this big ass drug bust. Now, you know what? School is expensive. School is tedious on the mind. These young college kids are going to school to try to better themselves, but then they're majoring in selling dope. Dope you. That's what I'm calling it. Dope you. These kids with this education has been paid for, some of them by mommy and daddy, and some of them are actually probably selling this dope to pay for their education to better their life. What has that told us about our country and our people? First of all, life is so fucked up here in America that they blind people. What I mean by blinding people is that if you lie most of the time in America, you can't really see what the problems that the average American is having. You lie. You go to school. Do what you do. Smoke your pot. Smoke your coke. Smoke your crank. Smoke your crap. Whatever you do. Just a coat. And it's so fucked up that these kids would have to feel as if they have to sell dope to survive. You know, you're in college to better your life and you're selling dope and going to school. I guess that beats being a waitress or getting that, that late night job someplace. You know, these people on TV are saying they're their uh, setup was so professional. They're fucking college students. Were they supposed to be standing outside selling crack? Their little powder sacks of coke, little bags of weed. You ought to see all the dope they got from the pills, all the whole shit. It's a damn shame when the future is getting high to deal with the present. It's fucking stupid. So these kids, their education is fucked. Money burned. Now you know what's going to happen. You're going to have some highly educated criminals now. Because you've taken their life from them. Some of these kids might have stopped selling dope after graduation and said, fuck it. Still going to smoke my weed and get my little snort on and take my little eat pills and fuck this shit out of some pussy. Uh, lick some balls or whatever the fuck these kids do on E. So... What I'm trying to say is this. Out of all that their parents went through to put them in the position to go to school, bitching at them, complaining, God damn it, keep up your grades, and did it in, making sure they can get into college. And these kids get into a college, major university, and become thugs, dope dealers. You know. Um, it's bad. In the halls of higher education, they get more fucked up than some of the people on the street. Did you see the dope they pull out of them kids? Well, I'm going to link this video to somebody else's video because I can't find anything about this shit on the, um, YouTube. Not yet. I'm not looking in the right place. Maybe it's San Diego State or something. I think something like that. I forget. Because, you know, I watch the news as quick as physically possible. Okay? Um, this is what I'm saying. It's better to watch the news than to be seen on it. Um, I don't know. You know, my greatest nightmare was to be on cops doing some dumb shit. You know, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm sitting there in front of the house or something, smoking a joint, boop, but the doom doom, and a cop wants to pull up with a camera crew. That would fuck me up. Not because, you know, I'm a closet weed smoker, because I'm not. If I'm going to smoke, I'm going to smoke. If I'm not, I'm not. Um, I'm a grown ass man. Any bad decisions made on my part only reflect on me. The thing is, I don't want my son to see the bullshit. And you may know. If your mother or father is doing something bad, but if you don't see it, you can't question it. 
And if people are telling you not to do what they've done in the past, then obviously they'd have a brain in their head to understand what you have done if you taught your child right or wrong. So, in saying that, I don't think anybody trying to search for a higher education should be getting enlightened the old-fashioned way. Um, a lot of America has been built on lies, drugs, and illegal activity. But for these kids, going to college, it's not like they were going to Waccamaw Falls uh, Junior College and high school. Um, these kids went to real school, a school that, you know, shit, I would have loved to go to, to uh, uh, you know, a real college, uh, a college, a college. I would have loved to, I would have to go to Berkeley, fucking Berkeley. Fuck yeah, Berkeley's the shit. Berkeley is where I wanted to go. Um, you know, a lot of people have wants and needs, and a lot of people have dreams and aspirations. But um, all I can say for these college students who are busted, headed to prison now, you probably will be some of the smartest guys in the joint, but you're going to be smoking joints. Well, you might be able to smoke a joint, but uh, you ain't going to benefit from the sale of it unless you get in good with somebody. Unless you still keep your connect. Why you ain't a whole baby? I don't know. Uh, I don't condone all drug use by anyone, especially kids. Like I said, people make their own mistakes when they get old enough to. Uh, first feeding bullshit on people only makes most people bullshit. You know what I mean? Forcing bullshit on people only makes more people bullshit. So that's why I want to say, um, don't you. That's sad that all these kids, all that money spent for them to go to college, all that money they earn selling dope, all that money uh, they got busted with, all the dope they got caught with, all that was a waste of their future. I don't care how good a person you are and how you never had a, a criminal record, you got one now. And for the guy who was going to be in Homeland Security, man, I feel for you. I feel sorry that you fucked up. Because Homeland Security, man, you could have been, you know, the man. Now they're going to watch your ass. Now, now you're going to be on the list, the checklist, when you go through the airport. Um, hey, just do one thing. You guys get the opportunity to fix your lives and shit. Go back to school. It's going to be about six or seven years. But uh, go back to school. Um, forget about dope, you You know. And try to hold on in your life. That's all I can say for you kids. Um, and let me tell you. It took guts putting that shit together. But whatever you do. Whatever you say. Remember this. If you take responsibility for your part in it, it's all gravy. If you point fingers, there's too many of you moving at the same time when you start pointing fingers at each other. Because you know what that means. When you stop where you're going, your paperwork follows you. So, for all of your sakes, take full responsibility, everybody. And that'll change everything. They don't know who to blame. Because when they whittle that the window, when they whittle it down to where they can blame one person or this person or this person's parents that this guy turned my child out, that's when it's going to get nasty. That's when the rats and snitches come out. That's when you sold that guy that $50 bag, that's coming back. You want know that motherfucker that you would not give more credit to? That's coming back. You know that girl when you fucked for the cocaine? That's coming back. So you have to remember what you do in life always comes around. What goes down, comes around. I am the real AIX. The one and the only, the real AIX. And all you students that dope you, and all you dumbass dope dealing cool cats, you have been tubed.
by the dean of dope you.